There used to be a time when Google's Chrome browser was one of the best. Those days are long gone. If productivity is important to you, Vivaldi is a browser to consider for your daily use. It includes tons of useful features Chrome does not have. Coming up in this final video in the series, I will show you 10 reasons why you should quit using Chrome and use Vivaldi instead. Let's get started. When it comes to managing your tabs, Vivaldi has a crazy number of things you can do that you can't do with Chrome. If I went through and explained each feature, this would be an hour long video. To save on time, I'll just show you a couple of those features right now. Vivaldi lets you view multiple web pages side by side with their feature they call tab tiling. This is especially handy if your PC only has one monitor or you're using a laptop. First, select a tab that you want in the layout. Then on Windows and Linux, hold down the control key on your keyboard. On Mac, hold down the command key and select as many tabs as you want. In this example, I'll go with two tabs only. Right click on one of the tabs you selected and click on Tile 2 Tabs. Moving your cursor in between the pages lets you adjust the width. To untile the open tabs, right click on one of the tabs and select Untile Selection. Another way of doing this is to select your tabs, holding down the controller command key. This time I'll go with four. Go to the status bar in the lower right. The icons down here are kind of small. Select the page tiling icon. Your choices are to tile vertically, horizontally, tile to grid. You can also untile the pages by going here as well. Another feature lets you change the position of the tab bar. While we're accustomed to having it at the top, you might find it works better for you having it on the side. To make the change, click the menu icon in the upper left and select settings. In the left pane, select tabs. In an earlier video, I showed you how to move the tab bar to the left on Microsoft Edge. You can do that in Vivaldi as well. Here you get additional choices Edge does not have. You can move it to the right side if you want or to the bottom of the screen, which a lot of people seem to like. If you want to learn more about their tab management features, I'll put a link in the description of this video. Over the past couple of years, Vivaldi has gotten a lot better in terms of privacy and security. It now blocks trackers and intrusive ads. This feature is built in without the need to download an extension. Here's what this web page looks like on Chrome without any built-in blocking capability. Here's that same web page on Vivaldi with blocking enabled. To make changes to the blocking level, click the menu icon and select Settings. In the left pane, select Privacy and Security. Scroll down the page to Tracking and Ad Blocking. You have three choices. No blocking won't block anything. Block trackers will only block trackers that collect your personal information and browsing habits on multiple sites. And block trackers and ads will block it all. You can add exceptions below to the sites you want to support. Click on the plus, enter the name of the site, Choose the blocking level, then click on Add Site. One of the best features in Vivaldi is their web panel. Located on the left side, you can easily access your bookmarks, downloads, and a bunch of other stuff, including your favorite sites that quickly slide out, giving you a side-by-side -side view. To add a website to the side panel, click on the plus, enter the name of the website, then click on the plus to the right. This is a great way to quickly open another site without having to open another tab. RSS feeds are a great way to stay up to date with articles and podcasts from your favorite websites and content creators. Vivaldi has a dedicated button in their web panel for RSS feeds that's easy to access. They also make it easy to add an RSS feed. If you're on a website that offers an RSS feed, you'll see this icon on the right side of the address bar. To add an RSS feed for that site, click on the icon. Look for and click on subscribe. You'll now see it in your RSS feeds in the web panel. These days on Chrome and other browsers, there seems to be an effort to push their licensed content when you open a new tab. Vivaldi keeps it simple with their start page. You can customize it however you want it. They've added a new bar at the top to easily see how many trackers and ads have been blocked. Clicking on it, you can see a breakdown for trackers and ads blocked on websites along with the addresses of the trackers blocked. Let's close this out. Below that, you can add shortcuts to your favorite sites and left click and drag them wherever you want them. To add a new site, click on the plus, enter the name of the website, 
then click on Add. For further customization, click the Settings icon in the upper right. Here you can quickly make changes, including changing your background. You can also make additional changes by clicking on the button here at the bottom where it says Open Start Page Settings. As discussed in earlier videos about Microsoft Edge and Firefox, Chrome does not offer a quick and easy way to take a screenshot. Just like Edge and Firefox, Vivaldi keeps it simple to take a screen capture. In the status bar in the lower right, click the Web Capture icon. Selection lets you select the area you would like captured. And Full Page, unlike Microsoft's built-in snipping tool or other programs, lets you capture the entire page from top to bottom. You can output the capture as a PNG, JPEG, copy it to your clipboard, or output the screenshot to Vivaldi's built-in note-taking tool. When wanting to reopen recently closed tabs, Vivaldi simplifies the process without having to dig through several menus, letting you choose from all of your recently closed tabs. All you have to do is click the trash can icon in the upper right, and it'll show you your recently closed tabs. Vivaldi now includes a built-in universal search for power users that can be opened by pressing Ctrl plus E on Windows and Linux, or Command plus E on Mac. Chrome does have a universal search, but quite frankly, it's embarrassing. It'll search through your bookmarks, title of any tab, and browsing history. You can also access just about every setting and command on here as well by clicking on them in the window. Just like the other browsers we discussed in this series, Vivaldi also has a competent built-in reading mode while Chrome does not. On Vivaldi, they call theirs Reader View. To use it, click the Reader View icon on the right side of the address bar. It removes the images and other clutter on the page, letting you focus on the article with no distractions. The settings can be accessed by clicking the Settings icon in the upper right. It'll let you change the type of font, font size, line spacing, column height, and you can change the theme. If you're in the middle of a project while doing research on a topic, Vivaldi allows you to save all your tabs exactly as they're presented to view at a later time quickly and easily. To do this, click the menu icon in the upper left, go to File, and select Save All Tabs as Session. Give your session a name, and click on Save. At a later point in time, when you reopen your browser to reactivate that session, go back to the menu, hover over File, and select Open Save Session. Then click on the name of the session. After you've done that, click on Open, and you'll see all the tabs you saved are completely restored. Thanks for watching. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. What are your favorite features with Vivaldi that you think make it better than Chrome? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoy our content, subscribe and click the notification bell to not miss out on our latest software videos and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.